Hello, this will be a quick overview of the REST API feature that was implemented in the root REST version 7. So what is it for? Let's say you personally do not like our WebFig or Winbox design and you want to create your own GUI with your own layouts, buttons and menus, but how can you make your solution communicate with the router? This is where API comes into play. In short, API stands for Application Programmable Interface, and it allows users to create custom software solutions by communicating with router S to gather information from the router, alter the configuration, or just manage it. The term REST API generally refers to an API access via HTTP protocol at a predefined set of resource-oriented URLs. Root.js has both regular API and REST API supported. Everything that is possible via the API should be possible via the REST API. So end result is exactly the same. REST API can be considered easier to implement. While standard API may require additional coding, REST API is a ready-to-go API solution using HTTP REST. Let's jump into it. When testing, you can use curl or any other similar program, like Postman or Rutherrez tool fetch feature to check the results. Make sure to check our written guide as it will have more information. Authentication to the REST API is performed via HTTP basic authentication, and you have to set up a certificate to use secure HTTPS. The first step is to make sure that the firewall accepts HTTP requests and doesn't discard them. So make sure that the firewall is configured accordingly and that one of the rules with the chain input allows such access. It is not advised to leave HTTP access to the device for everybody, so you better restrict it to only specific source API addresses that you trust. The second step is to generate a CA certificate and a WebFIX certificate. Then we will need to apply WebFIX certificate to the HTTPS service. Add a root certificate like shown on the screen and sign it. Add a WebFIX certificate and sign it as well. Enable HTTPS service and apply the WebFIX certificate we've just created. Since we have generated a self-signed certificate, the certificate must be imported into the machine's trusted root directory. Now let's use Squirrel and run a few quick examples. As mentioned before, it is advised to set up a certificate for a working environment, but for testing purposes, it is possible to connect insecurely by using additional flags and parameters. In curl, it is dash k flag. So if you issue the curl get post as curl flag dash k and dash u followed by credentials, HTTPS and IP address of the router slash rest slash system slash resource, we will get the exact same result as rootRes system resource print would display. But what if you want to ping something? In this case, we will need to use the post method and we will need to specify an additional data parameter in the JSON format, where we are going to indicate the address that we are pinging and the amount of pings we are performing. curl flags credentials dash x requesting HTTP method post IP address slash rest slash ping, then define the data in the JSON format with address which we're pinging and the number of pings we're performing, followed by the header flag content time publication JSON. The result is successful pings. Now let's add a new setting, for example, an IP address to one of our interfaces. Our currently configured addresses are to add a new entry, you can use HTTP put method this time curl, flex, credentials, method, put, URL, and the data with the address that we're adding and the interface, h flag, content type, JSON. Confirm that it was added. Oh, my bad. We've added the wrong address. Let's delete it. And for that, you can use the HTTP delete method. curl, flex, credentials, method, delete, URL, and behind the last slash indicate the ID that was assigned to the entry that we want to remove. Rootres REST API supported HTTP methods are get, which equals to the rootres print command. You send it in case you want to get records. Patch, which is the same as set in rootres, you can send it to update a single record. Put in rootres is add to create new record. Delete, rootres equivalent is remove to delete a single record. And post, which is universal method to get access to all console commands. With REST API, you can run scripts, change configurations, get router statistics, and pretty much anything else that is possible through the GLE. Thank you for watching this video, and if you did like the content, please subscribe.